Hey guys, welcome back. So I've been doing a little bit of hunting this week, uh, more so than I have been in the past couple of weeks because I've I'm still really busy with work and whatnot. But I actually had some time to go out and look, and so I've picked up quite a few things. Well, five five things. Um, all the same, they're really cool. Um, so the first thing I've picked up actually isn't a pot, but it's a dorb. Uh, we've talked about this in the past, how I don't really collect a lot of dorbs, but I'm I pick up the ones that I really like and so the one that I picked up today uh, there's one that recently came out and it's the the flocked Winnie the Pooh uh, from Barnes and Noble now I picked this up mainly because my girlfriend really likes Winnie the Pooh and so I thought it would be really cool to add this to the collection especially because she likes Winnie the Pooh um, and I'm, I almost almost had the chance to pick up the the Chase Eeyore um, Unfortunately, the person in front of me grabbed that, but that's okay. I'm, I'm still really excited to get this one. Uh, so I'm going to take it out of the packaging here really quick so you guys can get a little bit better idea of what it looks like. Um, wow, it's really soft. Uh, obviously, it's a flak pop, but um, here you go, guys. That's a little bit of a view of what Winnie the Pooh looks like. Uh, a, lot of, a lot of red in the shirt, but this is really cool. Um, yeah, so... Anyway, guys, that would be the flocked Winnie the Pooh dorb. Now, um, Hot Topic also has, or had, rather, it's sold out, um, as far as I know, the um, the flocked Tigger uh, Winnie the Pooh dorb, which um, I want to say it was limited to like 2,500 or so pieces, um, and it, it went up online. I don't know if it was even released in stores, but I know it sold out almost as quickly as it came in. And then they also have um, Piglet, Eeyore, which has a chase, um, and then the regular Tigger that is not flocked. So I'll, I'll probably end up picking up a few more of these just to have this little um, Winnie the Pooh Dorb set. Now the next thing I picked up um, is from Star Wars, and if you guys watched the last video where I got the Mud Trooper, uh, I told you guys that I've been trying to collect all of like the Storm Troopers and... Um, clone troopers and like the pilots and whatnot and so this one is actually from uh the newest star wars film solo a star wars story and this is the uh range trooper pop now this is just a common pop but it, it's still really cool and i'm gonna take this guy out of the package as well um because there's some details that you guys probably would miss if you didn't get to see him out of the box uh, almost dropped the box that would have been bad so with these guys, they have um, kind of like the Mud Trooper had the cape. These guys all have like furry uh, shoulder pads and fur on their back. And they also have like furry um, boots or like a furry coat as well. So I'm assuming that uh, these Range Troopers are probably going to be seen on like in the film uh, are going to be seen. Um, bless you, buddy. Sorry, guys. That was my dog. He sneezed. It's so cute. Um, anyway, these are probably going to be seen on like a snowy world. I'm... I doubt it's going to be Hoth, but, you know, like a, a similar snowy planet. Um, it's really cool. The helmet design um, is a little bit similar to some of the other ones we've seen in the past in Star Wars, which um, is, is no fault of Funko's. It's, they're probably taking it from the Star Wars design. Um, but these are really, really cool little guys. Um, I'm also hoping to pick up relatively soon the um, prototype... Django Fett armor and possibly some of the Clone Wars um, armors or the Clone Trooper armors um, but if I do you guys will obviously get to see that now the next thing I picked up um, is a Hot Topic exclusive and when these came out I was really excited for them uh, this is actually the first one from this line that I've collected or I've started to collect but I would like to probably collect a few more of these um, now this is going to be uh, from Steven Universe, and like I said, it's a Hot Topic exclusive, um, and this is Pink Diamond. Like I said, this came out this week, and I don't know if it's hit all of the, the Hot Topic stores. I know that my store usually gets uh, the exclusives almost as soon as they come out, because they're a very high-volume pop store. Um, but uh, anyway, this is Pink Diamond, and this came out right after the, the episode, um, which, spoiler alert, guys, if you guys haven't seen it yet, uh, skip ahead of 10 15 seconds uh this came out after the uh the final two episodes where they revealed that rose quartz is actually a diamond pink diamond uh 
but yeah, so this is a really cool pop. It's it's very detailed. It um, looks very much like Pink Diamond does in the show. Um, which here, I'll show you guys the glam shot so you can kind of see what she looks like. I probably won't take her out of the box, but still, really cool pop. Now, the next two things I picked up, uh, one of them I pre-ordered, and then one of them I um, did a little bit of a trading for yesterday um, when I picked up the first item, which I'm going to go ahead and show you guys now before I tell you about the trade. Um, so the first thing was the Pennywise, which is the FYE exclusive that I uh, had pre-ordered from FYE. Um, now, this Pennywise has the rod iron stake running through his face. Um, which, um, I actually haven't opened this box yet, uh, but it has a lot of detail from what I've seen, so I'm going to very carefully pop this guy up here. Don't want to bend the, the box. Um, one of the other YouTubers I've watched, uh, Jetta Patrol, always slides his knife under the lid to pick up the box, and I think that that's a really good idea. It stops me from, like, creasing the top when I try to open it. Um... So yeah, just a, just a little hint, guys. You can use a butter knife. You don't have to use like a sharp pointy tool, um, especially if you're too young to use knives. Uh, but anyway. <laughs> um, oh, man. So I've actually not seen him out of the box yet in person. I've just seen the, the pictures online. But wow, guys, look at this. His face is all gnarly. He's got the spike there, and then it like comes out on this side. You can see up top, like around his hair I don't know if it actually you can because my camera's there you go uh, like his paint on his face is starting to crack which is really cool oh man oh wow this is really really cool yeah so um, hang on a sec guys I'm gonna grab one of the other Pennywise's so we can compare it alright guys so this is the uh, Pennywise uh, with boat which is the, the common Pennywise uh, and this came out with the, from the first wave and then here we go. So this is, wow, this is really different. Like his hands are like busting out of his gloves. The hair is a lot bigger, which a um, little bit more scary. It's also, you know, I'm colorblind, but I think these are <laughs> actually two different colors. Um, if they are, tell me in the comments below so I actually know, and I'm not just saying that they're two different colors, uh, but all the same, they're still really cool. Um, yeah. These are these are really really cool and also like the which this I actually can tell like this is a different color than the neck frill on this one, huh? Uh, but they both do have Pennywise's yellow eyes. Now uh, when I was picking these up, I noticed that the this is actually like painted over the sculpt uh, on this, and so when I was looking, there were a lot of them that had like half painted eyes on both sides. I didn't find one that didn't have paint on either of the eyes, or I would have picked that one up because that'd be like a cool little variant. Um, but this is this one. And then last time, or when the, the first wave of Pennywise Pops came out, I actually pre ordered the FYE one as well. And so this one I am going to also take out of the box to, to show you so you guys can see this, which this guy I have taken out before. So it's not going to be as difficult. I also keep the movie ticket from when I saw it in the box. Um, I saw this with my uh, with my mom and my best friend Hunter uh, right before I, I moved from South Carolina to Seattle. Um, but anyway, guys, this is this Pennywise, uh, which was the original Fye exclusive. Um, and what's really cool about this one is that on the box he's supposed to have like yellowish green eyes, and mine has the blue eyes. So this one is a variant. Um, and the first wave that they sent out all had the blue eyes. And then when they sent out the rest of them, they had green or yellow eyes. So which I thought was pretty cool. Now, like I said, um, I did do a trade this week. And it was for something I'd picked up yesterday at FYE when I picked up this uh, pop. And so when I'm, they have a sale going on right now, or, or mine does anyway, they're buy two, get one 75% off. And so I actually picked up um, this Pennywise. I picked up a Chase Tommy from... Uh, Rugrats, which I, I gave to my friend John because he really likes the Rugrats and he also needed that one for his collection. And then I um, picked up a Chase uh, Good Luck Bear uh, and one of my friends Joel was looking for that and he happened to have uh, one of the Chases from it. And so the one that he had was Beverly. And 
Um, so the common Beverly looks like this. She's just wearing her, her dress. Um, and then the, the chase variant of her is uh, her covered in blood, which of course, um, if you guys have seen the movie, you know this is from the scene where like the blood bubbles up from the sink in the bathroom and like coats the bathroom. But anyway, so this is the one that I picked up in the trade. I'm still trying to find the Chase Georgie, um, which is really difficult, actually, um, surprisingly. I found it a few places, but they've all been marked up to like 40 and $45. And I have this thing where I'd rather just find it in the wild or, or you know, do a trade. Um, but anyway, thank you, Joel, for, for trading with me for this one. Um, and, and guys, that's everything that I've picked up in the past week or so. Um, I did do a couple more trades because uh, I'm trading out some of my uh, pops that I no longer need. Uh, so there should be a few more unboxings. And then I also did a new bo um, box subscription. So hopefully those will be in in the next few days where I can film those and show you guys what's in those boxes. They are pop mystery boxes. Um, and then the... The Smuggler's Bounty Box for Solo, A Star Wars Story, I believe ships out on the 15th, though if it's anything like the last box, I probably won't get it until June. So at some point I'll be unboxing that for you guys to see. Um, yeah, so definitely stay tuned. I will be putting out a few more videos. I'm going to start filming a little bit more often, or, or at least I'm going to film a few more videos every time I start filming. That way I have a few more to put out. Uh, that way there's a little bit more content for you guys to see what's going on here with me. And then last thing, guys, um, as I've mentioned before, I recently started a um, Instagram page for this channel, which you can find a link to in the description below, or it is pop underscore culture underscore collective. Um, I would really appreciate it if you guys would give me a follow. I post about new pops that I find. Um, if I find any deals online, I talk about those there. As well as when pops are released, any giveaways that I'm doing outside of the ones from the channel. Um, and a bunch of other cool stuff like that. So be sure to uh, check that out. Um, anyway guys, thanks for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, like the video. And if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. Alright guys, thanks for watching.